not at all. Just like I said, one week I'll make uh, uh, a salad, a bag of that salad plus tomato, uh, a last me three days. But I want to skip three days. That's why she's so I mean, thin. You know, why, why, why do you want to skip? Well, skip every other day. So she so, won't be eating a salad every day. Right. So see, I might have, I've got to have, I don't know about y'all, I've got to have my uh, peanut butter and cinnamon before I brush my teeth and go to bed. <laughs> peanut butter and cinnamon? Peanut butter and cinnamon. Yeah, if you put it on a cracker, you just eat it. I can put it on soft hands. If I had meat here, I would have, I would have saltine and cheese. Sunday after church, I have the same thing. Saltine crackers and cheese, and probably a little bit of cereal. We don't eat sorgento, or what it is, but they recalled all that for today. Yeah, yeah. I bet, and I bet your grocery bill's not $30 a week. About $30, it? it was 40 today. Oh my goodness. Did you buy a steak? <laughs> no, I bought that dog. <laughs> Viola, not the Viola, man. What is that they come out with? Oh, that new Viola dinner. God, it's something sensations, whatever. But anyway, man, uh, I had a coupon for a dollar and a half off, of which it was $9 and something. They had it down to $6. And I had a dollar and a half coupon. So they gave it to you almost. <laughs> right. And I put it in the freezer. I need to send them out shopping for me. But see, y'all, what I do, I, you know, I nibble at night. And now I'll nibble at night. That, like, me to quit that, but I've got to have my yeah, peanut butter and bugs. cinnamon. Yeah, but <laughs> put this on my job. You cannot be big. You got to move. You got to move. What do you, what do you do over Pepsi? do out of dates. <coughs> oh no, I mean, I mean a 12 pack, I do damage, I do out of dates, I have to live two little cases, 20 ounce cases, do that, I have to, if something's damaged, I get it, and I ain't repack it. Oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. I mean, I've got a room of my own. Yeah. And I know exactly where everything is, something comes in, I rotate. But it can get up. It, you know, even I even help the grocery guys in which they do not know what they're doing. And I do them and get their stuff that they bring in. Oh yeah, man, it's a job you can't uh you can't be big and do it. Or you gonna be hurt. You know, thank goodness I hadn't been the chiropractor in about six months. So that's why I get up at three o'clock to do exercises. And then, you know, do my devotionals, do my journey, do that man. And uh and feed the dogs a little bit. And then I leave at uh, about four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I mean you have your advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. But I have got to take a nail. When I get home. Well, I would hope so. Get up three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Observing that. Well, see, Jane, you couldn't, man, y'all. You couldn't. You couldn't enjoy. Oh, uh, you just couldn't. You'd be more, uh, you'd be too tired. I, I mean, I'm physical all day long. You know what I'm saying? I won't even. I'll take 15 minutes for lunch, and then I'll go back to work. But you know me, the uh, when I get out of there. The less time, the better. So when you get your job done, you can leave? Yeah. I mean, I can leave any time, but I'm just saying 1.30, say 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, I can leave at 1.30, get my eight hours, or if I want to work over. Dude, that's all right. Yeah. But y'all, what the hardest thing is, it's, it's a harder in the morning because it's dark. But when it starts getting light, you start feeling better. Mm -hmm. You know, man, like <coughs> 8 o'clock, when the sun comes up, you feel start, like a regular person. Right, you <laughs> feel better. Yeah. You know. Pretty much enjoy your work. You've been there 38 years. Is that right? that's all I know. Yeah. Jesse, oh, don't. My goodness. Didn't you?